Okay, so I just finished the uh, Arduino-based um, serial data macro controller, and this is it. Um, I didn't use all the 18 inputs, I only used 16 because it wouldn't really fit well on, in this box. So, get 1 to 4 and 16 down there, so it just goes in rows like so. And I get a power switch in the back, power LED on top, and I found this rather nice, very soft spiral cord. It matches the one for the keyboard very well, so it looks a bit better, and it's very soft and nice. And I get a connector on the back, so you can flip it on here. Get a red LED because it looks older. And well, it's basically the same as before. Hit the first one to start age top. Let's do that like so. And then Q to quit. And I have also added a clear, which is down here. So if we do that, clears the screen. Start mock player. Uh, here I still have to do some manual work, but it's not bad. So tab over there and just take something rather. And then I got volume control here. That's that. I can clear the screen again. And uh, then I have some. This one. Uh, oh, so what this? That one control. Uh, well, it uh, configures the uh, I/O or GPIO pins that control the relays. So I don't have to do that manually because it's rather time-consuming. Then I have on/off for the window lamp. And I have on off here for the amplifier, for the audio setup there, and I have on off for the LED light that's in my shelf over there. And these two do nothing right now, so they are a spare. And this one configures the uh, um, the uh, terminal to be of that size. Uh, and I didn't really want to add that it, as default, uh, so it does that automatically, because this terminal can do 80 by 130, or well, 80 or 132 columns. So uh, yeah, I get a bit of choice there. But that's that basically. So just a little box, nothing fancy. Uh, not very well labeled, but I know what the buttons do ish. <laughs> so that's that. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys later. Bye.